so I recently discovered that uh, the booktube newbie tag is uh, some kind of video. Uh, re uh, I, had, I had first thought it was just a tag you put on your video, but it turns out that in, uh, it's, uh, it's a series of questions, right? Uh, I saw a couple of booktube uh, newbie tag videos. Kind of entertaining, uh, good good videos, I think. So I thought, you know, why not make one of my own? And uh, now that I've got a new mic, hopefully I have a certain kind of quality to my videos. One issue though is, is, is my lav mic can only really be connected to my computer. I don't have a phone that has a TRRS port. So yeah but uh i'll have to make do um i've got the 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 questions the uh the booktube newbie tag questions here um and uh let's just uh get to, get into it uh so the first question is why did you start this channel um so uh this this channel is going to be about uh books um and sci-fi and fantasy in general uh i think i'm gonna go into a bit of media uh, that's not uh, exactly always books but most of the time it'll be about books um and uh you know i started the channel because i uh, i wanted to be part of a community and uh, i've i've seen a lot of booktube videos not not a lot of the smaller channels unfortunately so i'm new to that kind of community but um i've seen a little bit of the bigger youtube channels um and i thought you know it was uh probably one of the most you know entertaining kinds of videos for me and you know, I thought, why not be a part of it? Um, so uh, the second question is, uh, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? Um, uh, one thing I think, uh, I think I am uh, decently entertaining. I don't know if that's uh, pretentious to say, probably is a little bit. But I think you know I can I can uh, you know I can bring in a little bit of discussion. I think I have some 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 views on things that are interesting to share and to discuss with people. And you know I think uh, uh, I put a lot into improving my videos. So hopefully um, in a couple videos time, you know maybe 10, 20 videos, I'll be even better. I'll improve, you know, and I will all be part of this fun community. And uh, yeah. I look forward to discussing with you guys if any of you are gonna end up watching this video. Cause right now I I, I think I took, uh, I recorded uh, five videos already and they got uh, barely any views. So, but uh, I mean, I didn't even have a mic either. I don't even know if this is gonna sound good. I hope it does. Um, but then for the third question, uh, and that is what are you most excited for about this new channel? So, as I said, uh, this channel is going to be about books. Uh, I think I'm going to um, do a few reviews in the future. I haven't done any yet. Um, and I think, you know, I'm going to do some comparison videos. I plan to do uh, a Mistborn series uh, comparison uh, comparison video, you know, where I, where I compare the three Mistborn books together and, you know, decide what, which one do I think is the best one and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and I think it'll be fun to, to contribute to the community with what I can contribute with. And, um, yeah, why do I love reading? So I, I got into reading two years ago because my brother bought the Mistborn uh, series. And, you know, I had never really read a lot before that. I'd only really read through school um, and what I'd been encountered uh, with uh, throughout school uh, was extremely uh, boring in my opinion. So yeah, I didn't enjoy the books I read throughout school. I wasn't really introduced to books the right way, I'd say. Um, but when I began reading uh, the Mistborn trilogy, um, I was really introduced to a book that was more, uh, you know, character driven and, and, you know, uh, there's a very exciting, tight, tightly knit plot as well. Uh, I think all the other books I wrote through school were more literary fiction of without character depth. Depth was a bit limited in the books that I've read. I mean, um, you know, The Great Gatsby, for example, um, it isn't, it isn't like The Great Gatsby has terribly nuanced characters or uh, a very exciting plot in general. 
it's just you know a book that's about the the the, the American dream and and you know the fakeness of the American dream. Uh, so it's it's more like about ideas than it is characters or plot, and that it doesn't interest me as much. I think now that I've gotten more used to reading, I could more easily get into books like that, but. I think I was just, you know, introduced to the wrong, wrong kinds of book at, books at first, and, um, you know, now I am not. Now I'm reading the great books, the, the books that I love, so that's great. Uh, what book or series got you into reading? I actually already answered this. I should have read these questions in advance. Um, the Mistborn Trilogy, as I said, written by Brandon Sanderson, probably my favorite author. I think he is, uh, great, um, and he has, uh, a lot of authors has has a huge focus on prose as well. I think he has a little bit less of a focus on prose and then is just like all in on the plot and the characters and it's like, you know, the prose doesn't matter. And I think, I think, um, you know, some people like that, some people don't, but I think generally it's a great marketing strategy because I think there are more people that can consume uh, a simply written book than a more uh, sophisticated uh, prosely prose kind of book uh, because you know the the people who are more that are more new to books or aren't as as well versed with books uh, tend to have a harder time reading uh, the purple ish prose uh, whereas uh, the people who also like uh, the sophisticated prose can also read the simple prose so it's like you you read, reach a, a wider audience I think but, but yeah the Mistborn trilogy. I think it's great, um, and I, I love uh, Vin. Insanely well-written character, in my opinion. Uh, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Um, oh, that's a hard one. I mean, uh, I I think the booktubers that I watch the most are fantasy booktubers. Um, Daniel Green and Murphy Napier, I think. I guess uh, the questions I would probably uh, want to ask them the most is probably the kinds of books they're reading right now because uh, I mean my first choice would be uh, what their, their favorite books are but I've watched enough of their videos to know that already but yeah uh, what kinds of books they're reading right now how they find new books primarily I have a hard time doing that you know discovering new books you know which ones should I read and stuff like that you know it's always a hard choice I think at least um, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Definitely, most definitely the editing. I think uh, the videos are simple enough to record. I don't know, you know, I should probably uh, practice get it being more entertaining on camera and stuff like that, but uh, the, the, the recording is definitely the easiest part. I think uh, getting decent lighting, I, ha I'm, I don't have the funds for that, so just use an open window and uh, uh, a weak lamp. I hope it works decently at least. Um, but yeah, definitely the editing. I spent like a half an hour to an hour recording and then I spent five hours editing or something like that. And I, I, I am slow at editing, but I also, you know, I, I want my videos to be at least decently watchable and that requires um, a lot of editing, especially at my uh, very low level of editing. But yeah. Uh, when did you start reading? That's two years ago. I already answered this again. I can, I can, I can elaborate on it a bit, I guess. Um, because what the Mistborn trilogy really uh, changed for me was more than just uh, me getting into reading, to be honest. Um, it also kind of uh, the opened up a new medium for me because I didn't read books previously and I'd always wanted to write stories. I had, uh, I, I have been decent at drawing since I was uh, a kid. So I actually uh, planned to write a webtoon before I started reading um, because I read a lot of webtoons on webtoon.com, it's a great website. Um, but, uh, you know, I decided, you know, I was, uh, I was too bad at drawing. You know, I couldn't achieve a, a standard that I thought was, was adequate. Um, then when I began to read, uh, you know, I discovered what sort of, how, how, how interesting the medium actually is, you know, how great books can be. And, and then I remembered uh, a thing uh, that my, one of my uh, teachers, uh, English teachers once told me when I passed, um, I think it's uh, 
middle school, high school, I don't know what it is in, uh, in, uh, in American English standard schools, but when I graduated, um, he said, you know, you're very good at reading or you're very good at writing. I think you should do something about it. And, you know, I thought, you know, why not start writing? So I have been writing for a little over a year now. I'm, I'm a bit slow on it, but I think that was one of the main things that, that start that, that reading got me into, it got me into writing. Um, currently I'm 150,000 words into a fantasy novel I'm writing. Um, you know, and I, I think, I think it's, it has potential, but I think, you know, most people who write books think their books have potential until, you know, people start reading them and then they realize it is terrible. And, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, chances are mine is too. So just purely statistical, don't expect too much, but you know. All right, question number nine, where do you read? Um, so primarily I used to read uh, in my bed lying down, but I discovered that, you know, my focus in general was not as great when I lied down. Uh, I, I was always, you know, after 20, 10, 20 minutes of reading, I'm kind of uncomfortable and I don't really have a, a very cozy, comfy chair that I can lie down and read in. So I just usually uh, sit down in this chair. And then I have uh, my computer with me so I can quickly look up your words I don't understand too. So it's a win-win. You know, I, us I, I usually sit here. Uh, it, it keeps me awake and more more fresh while I'm reading, sitting, sitting kind of upright and reading. It does something to you, at least for me. So uh, that's where I'm, I read. Yeah, that that's where I read primarily. I just had to make sure the question was correct. My hope is that at some point I'll, I'll I can make a fine reading nook for myself, but at the moment, I'm a poor guy. I uh, I have to stick to what I am able to do. Um, so uh, yeah, I sit here in front of my computer. And for the last question, what kinds of books do you like to read? Um, and I've already kind of uh, talked about this, but that's uh, sci-fi and fantasy. I can talk about the books that I have read recently. Um, I read a lot of Brandon Sanderson. Uh, I wrote or I read, you know, Mistborn at first. That's like uh, 600 pages each, I think, 650, decent length at least. Uh, and then, then I read, I've read, I've read most of the Stormlight Archive. I have read the Witcher series. Yeah, I've read, I read, I've read about a bunch of different fantasy primarily. Um, and I quite, I quite like it. Um, I, I enjoy the kind of different styles that are within fantasy. You have the Brandon Sanderson that's very utilitarian and, and plot based, but also with great characters written primarily through introspection, a, a, a little more through introspection than most of the other books I've read. And then you've got The Witcher on the other side, which has a very uh, fantasy kind of charm to it. It really feels like fantasy when you read it. Um, and and the, the way that it's written and the dialogue in general just has this charm that I think is very distinct. So at least that it, it deserves kudos for that. I think uh, there are a few books that manage to have a, a kind of distinct charm and feel of originality. You can just tell that you're reading The Witcher when you're reading it. It's, it's hard to explain. Um, and I really like that. Um, and I think, uh, you know, the, the focus on dialogue, it's third person omniscient. So we aren't really a lot in the character's heads. So the character building is more subtle. And I really like that too, actually, where it's like a few ticks uh, and movements of their body that kind of describes how they feel instead of, uh, you know, the more, I guess, obvious descriptions that, that Sanderson does. Um, but I guess also if you miss the descriptions there with the Witcher, you know, you, you, you kind of miss the, the, the depth of the story, I guess. But, but I, I really like the kind of subtlety uh, that the Witcher has. Although the plot is not nearly as interesting as Brandon books, Brandon Sanderson's book, Brandon Sanderson's books, but still fantasy in general. I plan, I've read a bit of sci-fi, but I plan to get more into it more into it. I kind of like the, the philosophical themes that, that sci-fi often tends to get into. Um, so I would really enjoy, you know, getting into sci-fi at some point um, and reading uh, some of the more, you know, mind-bending kind of stories. They're more rare in, uh, in fantasy. So 
yeah, I think that was it for uh, my uh, booktube uh, newbie tag. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope uh, you got to know me a little bit better. I hope I was entertaining at least a little bit. I hope you enjoyed. I have got two other videos here sitting here. Uh, I think they're great. They don't have a mic, but you know, uh, I mean, if you're watching in the future, they probably do. But if you're watching right when this is uploaded, these two doesn't don't have a mic. And then check out um, my Twitter. I think my Twitter's suspended right now, but hopefully that'll get fixed. And um, subscribe. 